calling it a love song. What's up beautiful gemstones, it's Mary Gem and I'm back with another video and today's video is going to be on secrets from your crush, secrets about your crush and everything. So yeah, we've got six piles here today and we also got channel messages. Let's get straight into it. So we've got pile number one, which says just remember. Okay, pile number two says bit of snow. Pile three says the rose. Pile four says the road. Pile 5 says too lonely. And then pile number 6 says it's the one. So yeah guys, these are the 6 piles. Please pick as many as you guys would like. Please watch the entire video as well. I love you loads and let's get straight into it. What is up pile number 1? Let's get straight into your reading. So what are secrets from your crush? Secrets about your crush? Let's get straight into it. So we've got your just remember card and then your overall image is going to be the six of wands and then we've got your channel message over here as well and then we've got your cards. So yeah, I'm super excited. Um, so the message that I heard from your person was really interesting. Like I heard them say something like, do you remember the first time that we met? So I feel like their secret um, is something that they definitely was like, they're keeping it really hidden. I feel like, literally I felt like I even needed to take more time to kind of like get the message out of them because it just felt like they've been keeping it to themselves so much and it's kind of like maybe they've kind of just been like thinking about this one thing over and over again. And I feel like it's really just at the back of their mind and it's really kind of just like, you know, wanting to come out, but it's kind of like they just keep kind of like swallowing the truth, you know, so... um yeah, and I heard them even say something like, um, wait, what else? Oh, yeah, like, I heard them say, um, like, yeah, do you remember the first time that we met? And I heard them say, like, um, when you asked me the first time, I lied to you. So, I feel like, you know, you might know what the secret is already, or I feel like you might have an inkling, or maybe you've confronted them already about this certain thing, and I just see them kind of, like, maybe blowing you off or saying, like, no, like, it's not true, like, it's not true, don't listen to them. So, I just see them kind of, like, dismissing, um, the secret as well. So, I feel like, again, you know, literally your card says, just remember, so I feel like, you know, it's saying, like, um, you already know what it is. Um, you know, trust yourself a lot as well when it comes to connection. Um, and yeah, like you already know what it is. But anyways, let's get straight into it. So we got the last that came up, right? Okay. And then we also got the rising Libra Gemini Aquarius. So definitely they could be, um, they could have these placements or you could have these placements. But with the last card, I just feel like um, this person, yeah, guys, like I'm not going to like shy around from it. Literally, your channel message does say so something about, you know, a third party. It does talk about seeing somebody behind your back as well. So I'm seeing something a bit about them trying to basically justify um, what happened in the past because I feel like they have a very tangible history when it comes to their the exes and everything where it's kind of like they are never truly you know like single or they're never truly kind of like um done with their exes and like usually i hate talking about exes on my channel because it's kind of like you know been there done that thank you next but um there's just a vibe where it's kind of like i feel like they really aren't over the ex you know and i feel like um they're just basically trying to say, listen, they like they don't mean anything. And I feel like Loki, this person even could be lying to themselves, you know, maybe they're telling themselves like, oh yeah, you know, that fling meant nothing or like I'm totally over my ex, but it's kind of like, nah fam, I feel like there definitely might be an underlying issue. And I just feel like um, they're saying like, they feel really bad about it as well, you know, so... I feel like, you know, they even could be thinking about other people even when they're alone with you. So there is a vibe as well. So yeah like i feel like even if they aren't trying to do it you know on purpose it's kind of like you know with the rising gemini libra aquarius um that's kind of like you know what we see so we see them kind of like you know acting weird acting strange and i feel like um it's justified as well and yeah they're thinking about other people when they're with you basically because i'm seeing them even putting their arm around you and then like, kind of like you know their mind going haywire as well so um yeah, you know, maybe they're just someone that's very over flirtatious and there's even a vibe where it's kind of like, I don't want to blame this person, but at the same time, I feel like they're always constantly, you know, putting themselves in situations where it's kind of like, um, they shouldn't have done it in the first place, you know, so it's kind of like, say now they did hook up with the ex, it's like, they shouldn't have gone over that late at night, you know, under the inception, and kind of like, you know, kind of not really dismissing this person, and their advances as well, you know, so it's kind of like, they let things get out of hand as well, so there's a vibe where it's kind of like, maybe your person, your crush, is someone that's very flirtatious, very friendly, and I just see somebody kind of like, interpreting their kind nature for like, you know, them being flirtatious back, so, um, 
yeah, I definitely feel like somebody might be interested in your person. And I just feel like, you know, maybe something happened. And even if it wasn't like, you know, to the extent of them sleeping with them, I just feel like this person, your person hasn't really been trying to kind of, you know, dismiss this person or try to be like, listen, I'm seeing someone or something. Like they haven't ever said that, you know, once even. But um, we'll see what else the cards say. Like I'm really interested. So we've got the King of Cups that came up, right? Definitely there could be a Pisces as well. Um, Cancer could be a Pisces. But again, I feel like they don't like hurting people's feelings. So it's kind of like if somebody comes to your person and tries to flirt with them, I feel like they won't be like no i'm taken like you know don't look at me don't talk to me you know i got a ring on my finger like they're not gonna say that they're gonna be like oh that's so cool. like they're just gonna be really you know um what's the word just like go with the flow type vibe i feel like they're not gonna be very assertive and um they're gonna be very passive and they just really don't um do well with kind of getting their points across very accurately as well so there is a vibe where it's kind of like yeah somebody flirting with them and them maybe not flirting back like you know directly we'll see more with the cards what they say but i just get the vibe where it's kind of like um them okay yeah flirting back i see them flirting back with somebody else um and them again not dismissing it as well so yeah and i even feel like maybe people have seen them together and they're kind of like I thought you were with this other person like what's going on you know so i feel like maybe you aren't the only person that knows about this as well like other people might know um or i can even see you finding out about this person through a third party as well bro for real but yeah definitely i'm getting a bit of third party vibes we've got the queen of pentacles that came up right okay so we've got the masculine and then we, we've got stuff ma soft masculine and then we also got feminine energy so again i'm getting something about somebody else trying to butt their business in your relationship so i just feel like you know somebody might know something about your guys's relationship they're kind of like i just i feel like um they're being very open with this one person and i feel like this person's kind of like thinking like oh yeah like you know i know your crush better than you do like you know me and them we talk all the time like we're super close like you know you should check your you should check on your crush you should you should check on your person because like they're talking about things they're talking about you so i'm seeing that type of vibe where it's kind of like this person's getting a really big head because they're getting attention from your crush you know so um yeah Sorry about that guys but anyways let's get straight into it so yeah i just feel like you know they definitely might be having a lot of alone time with somebody else that isn't you um but yeah i see them paying attention to somebody else that isn't you as well so yeah something about like someone um yeah attention and everything so definitely even could be um a fire sign you know you could be a fire sign watching this um so yeah and then we've got the lovers card guys the lovers oh my gosh so there is a vibe where it's kind of like i don't know because this kind of talk, the lovers card, I feel like people are always like, oh yeah, you're soulmate, you know, but I feel like I don't want to jump to that conclusion. I just get the vibe where it's kind of like with the lovers, this person has a choice when it comes to, you know, who they want to be with. And I feel like they're kind of like, you know, um, hopping between partners where it's like, you know, one day they're being sensitive and emotional with you. And then other days they're being cold, but you know, or they're being, yeah, but cold. So I just feel like um, your crush just might be kind of debating um, who they want to be with, who they want to spend time with and who they even want to open up to as well because even if it isn't like you know um physically opening up like you know um sex and everything i feel like if we, eh, it can even be emotionally because i've heard of like you know people talking about like you know cheating on someone emotionally where it's kind of like you don't act on your feelings but then you still have feeling for somebody else while you're in a committed relationship so i just feel like you know this person might be catching feelings for somebody else that maybe isn't you um and I feel like they're kind of like saying, okay, like I need to make a choice. Am I going to go with you or this person? Because literally, guys, like look at the lover's card. Like literally, guys, you've got the lover's card. You've got the, you've got the female over here. You've got the male over here. And then you can literally see, again, female and male. Like you woman and man. So I just feel like, you know, they're kind of like saying like they don't know who to choose. Because on one end, it's kind of like they have this very emotional bond with you. But then the other one is kind of like there's like their sexual needs or like, you know, their sexual pleasures or whatever. So... Um, yeah, something about them getting sex from somebody else as well, or like wanting sex. So yeah, and then we also got the Three of Cups. Oh my gosh, guys. So yeah, I feel like this definitely might be a third party situation. And yeah, I think they're really trying to decide like, you know, who they're going to basically be with. Um, but yeah, let's get into your channel message. So it says, I saw someone behind your back. It just happened out of nowhere. I don't know how to tell you without you getting mad at me. I messed up and don't want to mess this up. I don't know what to do. And then it says, babe, question mark. So again, I feel like they still are really tied to you emotionally or physically. Like there definitely is a tie between you guys. But now, you know, they messed up. They did something behind your back. And it's kind of like, even if they didn't do it physically, 
I feel like, you know, when it comes to emotions, they're, it's everywhere. And it's like, yeah, they might have caught feelings for somebody else while they're in a relationship with you. So that is what I got for part number one. Uh, I'm trying to think, like, what is some advice? Because I heard someone commented down below, can you give some advice as well? Um... I think the advice I'm busy getting is kind of like with the Queen of Pentacles about being alone and kind of reflecting as well. So I feel like if this person does end up telling you, you know, like um, that they saw someone else behind your back, um, really try to debate and try to see like, you know, whether you want to be with them as well. Because something about, you know, um, being alone with your crush and realizing that kind, that kind of like, you know, are you going to go down this road like, you know, five five years down the line like you know do you see yourself with this person like in 10 years time or like if the aunt is no it's kind of like you should either break up with them or kind of like you know like just reevaluate you know where you are in your life as well because i just feel like you know um letting one thing slide is going to be like this is going to be your life and your partner for like you know a very long time but like if you're kind of like nah like we're chilling like it's not that serious and i then by all means you know still be with them but um again just take into account your feelings your emotions and how you would feel um, and also think about how things would be if the roles were reversed. You know, if you did that same thing, how would they react? You know, would they be like, no, I'm not talking to you again. So I feel like, you know, make sure it's really fair and that it's kind of like they're not taking advantage of you as well. But yeah, pal one, that is what I got for your reading. I love you loads and let's get into the next one. What is up, I'm to let's get straight into your reading. Literally, my camera died. Super sad. But luckily, I didn't really go through all your cards. I just went through the first card, so it's fine. But um, yeah, so your overall is going to be the Seven of Swords. We've got your channel, Mr. Via. And then, yeah, you guys chose part number two. So we've got the Rising Cancer, Scorpio Pisces. Then we also got the Ram King card. And then, yeah, we've got the Ten of Pentacles. So, um, sorry. The messages that I heard for you was very interesting because I heard them say something kind of like it's my first time or like this is the first time I've ever felt this way about someone. Um, this is the first time that I've ever done. This is the first time, first time, first time. So, you know, maybe um, this could be the first video that you're busy watching about them. You know, maybe you've kind of always been like, no, it's fine. Like, you know, if they want to tell me something, like I'll find out by myself or like they will tell me when like they want to. So I can kind of see you kind of being a bit like, listen, now like something's up. Like I need to watch a video. Like I want to find out what's going on. So, um, yeah you guys came to the right place but um yeah like basically what i said before was kind of like the energy where something good happened to them i see them kind of like um you know getting good news or something or i can see them working towards you know the ten of pentacles i can see them working towards something kind of like not telling you about it because with the seven of swords i kind of feel like this person definitely might have lied to you i feel like they've been trying to cover up a lie for like a very long time and it's kind of like they don't even have a really good reason why like, I was even getting the vibe with, like, the Cancer Scorpio Pisces rising and everything. It seems like they're being very secretive for, like, no reason. Or I feel like they're being very overly sensitive towards your opinion. So, um, you know, maybe, like, their secret is, like, it's kind of like they're afraid of what you're going to say. And I feel like it's, like, a really sucky thing where it's kind of like, um, I can see you finding out this secret very soon. Definitely very, very soon. Like, you know, maybe in a week, in a few days, in three days, four days. Maybe even, like, you already find out what the secret is. But I see you finding out very soon. And then you kind of being, like, very disappointed. I can see you kind of being like, why didn't you just tell me? You know, like, why didn't you just say what was going on? Um, yeah, like, why didn't they just tell you? Because there's a vibe where it's kind of like, say now they've been trying to work really hard to get into a culinary school or they've been working really hard to kind of like, you know, change jobs or make money or something. Or maybe they've been really struggling financially. I can see them lying to you and kind of being like, oh, no, it's fine. Like, everything's chilled. But then it's kind of like they didn't tell you. And then it's like, but why, you know? So I even got them kind of like being very anxious, being very paranoid. And them kind of just like not wanting to share something with you because yeah they're afraid of what you're gonna say or they're afraid of what you're gonna um how you're gonna look at them afterwards because definitely you could be like a leo or something and i can kind of see them kind of worried that like you're gonna look at them differently if they tell you the secret as well so i feel like yeah they might have received some good news and it's kind of like they're keeping you in the dark they're not really telling you what's going on in their life basically like in their personal life um so yeah i feel like they aren't really sharing their aspirations with you or something and yeah, so like Ram is a Cancer and then King is a Earth sign. So definitely you guys could be a water sign with an Earth sign as well. But yeah, secrets of energy. I feel like they're keeping like they really like, you know, their emotions to themselves basically. Um, but yeah, sensitive to public opinion as well. Like feeling like they're not being understood as well. So maybe sometimes they feel like you don't always understand where they're coming from or something. Um, but yeah, like I even heard the energy of them saying like, you don't need to worry about it because it's none of your concern. So yeah okay we also got the devil card guys 
So you know, let's talk about um, Capricorn energy. Definitely, could be a, there could be a Capricorn as well. But the Devil card talks about addiction. It talks about um, manipulation. Sometimes it talks about just like yeah, obsessive energy. So I feel like this person is really working on something really big, and they're definitely keeping a huge secret from you. And it's kind of like they're doing everything in their power to kind of like you know make sure you don't find out. And on one end, it does seem like a very serious thing, but on the other end, it also feels like it isn't that serious. I feel like they're just working towards something, and it's kind of like they don't want to tell you maybe until they're done. Yeah, maybe they're waiting until they're done with, like, you know, their work, then they're going to tell you, or it's kind of like they don't want to show you, like, a half ass idea. So, say now they want to ask you out on a date. I can see them saying, like, no, I'm not going to ask you out yet because um, I don't have enough money right now. But yeah, I see them going through money problems or I can see them going through a bit of an addiction or something. And it's kind of like, yeah, they feel like you shouldn't know about it because it's none of your concern right now. They're saying it doesn't concern you, but they're saying, you know, as soon as it starts affecting you, they're going to tell you basically. So, yeah, it's kind of like um, when, um, say now, they have a roommate, they have a new roommate. I can see them maybe not even telling you about it. Then it's kind of like it doesn't affect you. But I can see it maybe affecting you when it's kind of like the roommate says, oh, you can't come over anymore. Or I can see them having a new friend and their friend saying like, oh, like you can't hang out with this person anymore. And I can just see them kind of like, you know, keeping it under the wraps again. Then it's kind of like it doesn't affect you right now, but like it's going to affect you in the future, like, you know, very soon. So, yeah, I feel like they can't keep the secret to themselves, you know, much longer, basically. And then we got the Three of Pentacles. Very interesting. So, yeah, I'm seeing something about having conversations really late at night. So, definitely, um, this person is, like, working on something very hard. They're spending a lot of time on it. Like, you know, long, hard hours. Um, you know, like, I'm getting off to midnight. I'm getting something about 3 a.m., 11 p.m., 12 a.m., like, midnight type vibe as well, definitely. Um, but this talks about communication. So, I feel like, um, yeah, I just feel like, something happened to them and instead of telling you about it they kind of told somebody else and i feel like you're just going to be a bit kind of like sad and disappointed because it's kind of like you wish they would have told you sooner or you wish they they would have told you at all you know so i feel like right now they aren't really being emotionally open with you as well um and yeah they're talking to somebody else basically and they told this other person instead of you or like you were the second person they told but like they care about someone else maybe a bit more or something about family as well um but yeah, and then we also got the world card. So again, this talks about making a good impression and them talking to their friends a lot about you. So I feel like right now, maybe um, they could just be listening to their friends and it's kind of like their friends maybe aren't the best influence on them. And I can kind of see them maybe listening to the crowd a lot and not really listening to their own intuition and their self, basically, themselves. Um, but yeah, so let's get into your channel message it says i get really jealous and paranoid when i see you hang out with your friends i don't like them when you don't reply i just refresh my chats i try to act chill around you though because i like you so bro they like you a lot but i feel like um at the same time maybe this is a very fresh connection where it's kind of like um you guys don't discuss everything that happens in your guys' life so i feel like again it isn't that big of a deal but um yeah i feel like i just see them kind of like you know talking to their friends and you talking to your friends and um yeah they're not really telling you about the important things that are happening in their life as well so i see a major life changes happening for your person um let me know if you guys want me to make a video on like maybe what are they going through or what are they thinking or something because i feel like this person's going through a lot right now and yeah it's going to be a huge shift and it's kind of like yeah you'll find out when it affects you but i feel like as of right now they're saying like it doesn't it's none of your concern but yeah that's what i got for you reading i really hope the video resonated i love you loads and let's get into the next one what is up, number three? Let's get straight into your reading. So, um, yeah, we've got your channel mystery over here. Then we've got your overall energy being the Ten of Cups. And then we've got your cards here as well. So, um, what I heard for you guys was, um, I don't know, like it sounded like a lot of like, it sounded, I don't want to say concerning, like that's not the right word, but it sounded very, kind of like very serious. So I feel like um, the secret that your person's kind of like, you know, keeping from you is something that they might have even been open and honest with you. Like they already told you the secret, so I feel like it isn't really like, you know, that huge of a secret. Like something about the cat out of the bag or something. Um, but I heard them say something like, um, they had a falling out with a friend and I feel like um, it's kind of like hitting them really hard. So maybe... Um, your crush or your person recently just had a falling out with a friend or recently they just um, yeah I'm getting something about they had a fight with their friend and it's really kind of like been on their mind for a really long time and um, 
I feel like they just need someone to talk to as well. So I feel like they're kind of waiting for you to maybe just um, ask him again. Because I kind of feel like, you know, you can ask them like, you know, is something wrong? They'll say no. But then if you ask them maybe a few more times, like they'll be like, okay, fine. And they'll open up to you. So I feel like they're kind of playing it a bit coy and they kind of want you to just um, pay attention to them and kind of like, you know, not give up when they say something's not, like when they say something's okay, like actually be like, no, something's not okay. Like tell me what's up. Um, because yeah, I feel like if they don't speak about this um, problem soon, it's kind of like it's gonna get out of hand, definitely. Um, part number three. But yeah, I even got something about them trying to start a new hobby, and them um, feeling like they're basically let themselves down. I feel like this person might be feeling very like just like they're very disappointed in themselves. Basically, um, they thought they could still, you know, fix everything, or they felt that they felt like um, everything's basically their fault as well. So. Um, yeah, in this falling out or something, they feel like it's their fault, you know, and if it's not about a friend, if it's about you, I, f- I kind of feel like, you know, if you guys, if you guys had an argument, they feel like they're taking the blame, they're, th- they're saying like, listen, like, I know it's my fault, they're saying like, I know I messed up, like, they're saying like, I feel bad about it a lot, you know, so, yeah, I just see them, you know, kind of feeling sorry for themselves and just feeling like they wish that, like, they didn't have that falling out, they wish they were still friends with you, they wish they were still um, in contact with this person, but yeah, something about a falling out as well. Or it even could be something like something else where it's like maybe they were supporting like, you know, a soccer team and like the team lost. I can see them, you know, being really sad about it as well. Uh, or something about them losing a game. Or like they didn't get they didn't get a promotion that they wanted. Um, and it's like really like, you know, affecting them a lot as well, like emotionally. And it's making them kind of like, you know, say nasty things about themselves and to themselves even. So definitely, like, you know, their inner voice kind of, like, you know, becoming their inner critic as well. And we do got the rising Virgo Capricorn Taurus. And literally, Earth signs are so hard on themselves, guys, for real. Um, but, yeah, and something about, like, the time 6.30 is coming up, like, 6.30. So maybe the number 999 is really important to you. But, um, yeah, 6 and, like, multiples of 3, even, like, 3, 6, 9, 12 and everything. But, yeah, let's get straight into it. So we got the rising Virgo Capricorn Taurus and then we also got the about time card. Interesting. So yeah, I feel like the secret is kind of like they wish they could go blah, 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 blah. So yeah, anyways, and then we also got the about time card. So I kind of feel like the secret is definitely something about wishing they could go back in time. They wish they could kind of, you know, just take back what they said. They wish they could kind of just um, have a redo button. Um, and they feel like, yeah, they feel really bad about it. So with the Virgo Capricorn Taurus, you know, um, earth signs are kind of like people that they love to be right. And they also like fixing people, you know, like especially if they are Virgo. Um, so I kind of feel like this person wishes they could fix, fix a certain situation, but they know they can't. They feel very helpless and they just feel like, you know, every time they try to make something better, they end up making it way worse. So, um, if you and this person had a falling out, they kind of feel like, if they talk to you about it, they feel like they're going to make things worse, you know. Or maybe something happened to you and they kind of feel like they don't know how to help you as well, you know. Maybe you're going through something very, like, you know, um, traumatic and they're kind of, like, saying they feel like they don't know how to help you. Like, they don't know if they should, you know, um, give you space or if they should kind of, like, you know, hover or should they, like, what should they do, basically. So, um, yeah, I feel like, you know, it's, like, secrets on both ends even. But, yeah, they wish they could go back in time and kind of fix what they did fix a mistake that they made as well like something about the past like coming back to haunt them and yeah them looking back a lot and kind of like just being really like sad about something because they feel like they can't fix it and then we've got the knight of swords so again this talks about um quick and swift energy so i feel like um they're kind of saying like they're done waiting they're tired of kind of um just like yeah feeling helpless so i kind of feel like i can see this person definitely moving forward towards you and trying to take action very soon um if there's been a lot of stagnation in this connection i see them coming forward and kind of like trying to um patch things up basically yeah i definitely see them trying to patch things up but not really thinking um things through basically as well because i can see them kind of coming up with very unrealistic expectations and um unrealistic goals and plans as well because i see them coming to you and trying to apologize but then not even apologizing about the right thing or kind of like comforting you but like not in the way that you need it the most you know 
um yeah because you know some people it's kind of like if you're in an emotional and vulnerable state it's kind of like imagine someone tries to hit on you or they try to flirt with you when you're busy like being emotional it's like bro read the room like that's bad timing so i just see them kind of moving forward towards you but like not really doing it in the best way in the best of fashion you know so um fashion be late and just yeah you know it's kind of like wrong time dude like wrong timing basically um so yeah they they wish they could kind of like you know take it back as well and then we got the tower card so this talks about um you know aw awakening it talks about a rude awakening it talks about um just like yeah things changing basically things being like rocky from the start as well so i kind of feel that this person feels like very out of place they feel like they don't know how to kind of you know fix things or mend things so um yeah they're gonna move forward towards you but it's definitely not gonna be the right move i feel like they made the wrong decision and um they're basically living with the consequences um i just see them maybe offending you or i see them hurting you but like on accident you know um like yeah i see them like offending you hurting your feelings and it's kind of like they didn't mean to because literally bro like if you have a venus in virgo or like moon in virgo or like any virgo placements it's kind of like you know their way of loving you is kind of like pointing out your imperfections and trying to help you but i kind of feel like um you know you didn't need them to like point out your imperfections you needed them to kind of like you know just be there for you emotionally and kind of be there for you like be your rock and everything and just be there for you and like you know be a good partner but it's kind of like they didn't do that you know so i feel like they basically let you down and they're very disappointed in themselves as well um and it's kind of like yeah things definitely could have been handled with more delicacy and they could have thought things through more and like you guys wouldn't be in the situation that you guys are in right now but yeah you can't change the past and then we got the high priestess card so i see you kind of like also um i don't know being really very like reflective and being very understanding as well because you know i can see them maybe even coming to you and saying hey um i messed up i'm really sorry or i can see them saying oh i didn't know um that's what you wanted from me like i, di I didn't know what to do and i can see you saying it's okay it's fine and kind of like you know just giving them like grace or giving them kind of like a pass or something um like i'll link down the movie called like hall pass it's about like couples that give the um the husbands like a whole pass to sleep with whoever they want to for like you know 24 hours and like it ends up being a huge mess <laughs> because it's kind of like they gave them the whole pass but like they didn't expect them to actually you know do it but yeah i won't spoil the movie as well and i'll link down about time as well but yeah i see you kind of like um listening to them complain um listening yeah listening to them complain about something as well so they could have just had a really bad day at work as well but yeah, I see you being very understanding and like listening to them as well. And then we got the Hermit card. So again, Virgo energy. So I kind of see you maybe taking time to just like, you know, be by yourself or something. And I kind of feel them being like, they don't know what to do while you're doing this as well. So saying that you're someone that has like, you know, a full-time job, I can see them kind of feeling like, oh my word, I'm so bored without you. Like, what do I do? And just feeling very like, you know, unproductive, feeling like they don't know what to do when you aren't around as well. Um, and missing you when you aren't there as well, definitely. Um, so I feel like, yeah, this person really needs to just, you know, think things through and not just um, act on, like, you know, their first instinct, basically. Because it's going to ruin everything. What's going to make, like, a big mess, basically. Not ruin everything, but, yeah, make a big mess. Um, but, yeah, I feel like they're very ashamed of what they did. And it's kind of like, you know, after they do this, they're going to be really ashamed. And they're, they're not going to want to tell anyone about it either. So I feel like it's very embarrassing. And they feel very ashamed of that one moment that they did that. And, they, yeah, they don't want to tell anyone about it, basically. And then let's get into your channel message. So it says, um, I haven't really been feeling myself recently. I feel like things are off between us you're always trying to pick a fight with me i just don't want to fight with you or anyone i'm second guessing my feelings <gasps> damn so yeah i see them kind of like um going more within themselves kind of like you know just like yeah being alone taking time to kind of like reflect on what they did in the past and try to avoid basically the same thing in the future as well so yeah guys if you guys might have had an argument or something but with the ten of cups being the overall energy um, I feel like there's a lot of love, but also a lot of, like, you know, like, a lot of other emotions, like, you know, hate, not hate, but, like, just anger, like, I'm getting anger, I'm getting, um, yeah, anger, frustration, even, um, frustration of your partner as well, you know, because it's kind of, like, you want them to do something, but they keep doing the wrong thing or something, but, yeah, that's what I got for part number three, I really hope the video resonated, I love you loads, and let's get into the next one. 
what is up palm for let's get straight into your readings so yeah we've got your channel mystery over here then we've got your cards here as well and then your oval is just going to be the knight of pentacles so yeah the message that i heard from you guys was like low-key kind of funny but like i heard two different messages like i heard one serious one and then i heard one kind of like very funny one so like i'll say the funny one first but i heard them say something like actually if i'm being honest like i don't like that tv show or like them saying like um like i lied to you when i said i like this one thing but actually i don't like it so maybe if you always cook them a certain meal i can see them saying actually like i don't like that at all like i really don't like it or something or i haven't got something where it's like maybe something about you know i'm um, having sex i can see them saying like actually i don't like you know doing reverse doggy like it's not a thing for me like i don't like it um and it's kind of like you know when you first start a relationship with someone it's kind of like you just you know you kind of how can I say you kind of just put up with whatever they want or you try to maybe um do what they like because you know it will make them happy but then it's kind of like three years down the line it's kind of like oh no now they think that this is my favorite color or now they think this is my favorite meal but it's like no bro I hate it so I'm seeing something about yeah them lying to you about maybe a tv show or their favorite color or um a meal or something like that as well but yeah, oh, like them saying, like, maybe they say they liked you, like, you know, in a certain dress, but actually they don't like you in that dress all, at all. So I'm seeing, like, that's the secret. Like, it's not that big of a deal. Like, I'm getting, like, they're saying, yeah, like, actually, I don't like it when you wear that dress. Like, actually, I really don't like it. Like, it does not look nice on you. But, like, they would never tell you. So it's, like, it's a secret, you know. But um, I also got something about them saying they're right about this relationship. They're right about um, the future. Because, yeah, the Knight of Pentacles talks about um, a message of anxiety. It talks about an anxious um, it talks about anxious feelings in a relationship as well so I feel like they're kind of just trying to maybe not piss you off they're trying to not make you mad or something or like if you're on a period I can see them you know kind of being a bit like uh I don't want to you know get you mad at me or like uh this feels like I just feel like they're, they're kind of like feeling like uh like that uh that's what I can say like uh type energy you know but yeah mostly about them lying about small things basically and it's kind of like you're under the impression that like you know this is the thing but it's kind of like nope it's the opposite or like nope actually contrary on the contrary it's like nope um but yeah and like for some reason i'm thinking about eddie murphy i don't even know why what is a part number four let's get straight into it Okay, part number four, sorry about that. I took a bit of a break, so I don't even know where I was. But yeah, anyways, the channel messages. And I was hearing something about them saying that they basically wanted to change the relationship a bit. They just wanted to kind of maybe just, I don't know, like reignite the spark or something. But I saw them saying something like they're afraid that things are going to start slowing down or they're afraid that, um, I don't know, things aren't as fun as they used to be to be and stuff like that i can see them saying they want to go on more adventures but yeah i feel like they secretly something about the relationship and maybe just like the maybe i don't want to say general discomfort but i kind of feel like they're feeling like they want you guys to just you know be more um exciting go on more adventures and kind of just like you know be more spontaneous basically um but yeah you know the knights of pentacles you know just talks about um messages of anxiety it talks about also like again a message it talks about trying to convey a certain message so i just feel like you know they're trying to set the overall tone of maybe the relationship and kind of like i don't know i feel like they just want something new something different basically so um yeah i feel like they just might be wanting something more out of this basically like they're saying they want more they want like something else something tangible or they they just yeah they want something more out of this basically so yeah let's see anyways we've got the strangers again card okay interesting so i want to see the strangers again talks about going through phases where it's kind of like you know talking to someone every day you know falling in love and kind of just like you know doing everything and then basically losing contact because you know everyone knows the same way it's kind of like like, you know, the cliche quote, like, I'll put one over here if I can find one, where it's kind of like, when, like, you know, people say, like, do you know that person? Then it's like, I used to. And it's, like, so dramatic. But I'm getting the vibe where it's kind of like, maybe um, you guys went through a rough patch sometime or, like, a while ago or something. But I'm getting them kind of saying that... Um, and they don't want you guys to kind of like you know become strangers they feel like um if you guys like you know have a lasting impact on each other they feel like they don't ever want to kind of like you know go back to the way things were before because maybe you guys might be trying to maybe pretend like you guys like nothing happened or maybe they're kind of like you know pretending like you know you guys never dated or something but i can see them kind of saying like they don't want to pretend that you guys didn't happen they're saying they don't want to pretend they don't want to like you know be doing the whole thing like they're saying they want to be open and honest they want to be honest with you guys' relationship and they also want people to take you you guys relationship very seriously because i can even see them saying like they feel like you know people don't take you guys seriously you know um yeah 
like i'll link down this other tv show um it's called what's it called again i forgot what it's called but like it's by wang Fu productions i'll link it down below again wang Fu productions is such an amazing oh amazing everything but yeah so they feel like they wish people would take you guys more seriously as well and like they want you guys to be more of like a permanent thing as well definitely so yeah i feel like they definitely aren't here for like you know the casual dating okay and then we got the koi dao card so yeah i feel like they're just afraid that maybe you aren't taking them seriously or they feel like again something about um just brushing things under the rug basically and um yeah not taking someone seriously so they're afraid of that mostly and then we got the ace of swords that came out right this talks about intrusive thoughts talks about yeah just like you know overthinking and everything so i just get the vibe where it's kind of like they're saying that they don't want um to be overthinking things but i feel like maybe there's someone that overthinks small things and it's kind of like yeah um they overthink a lot of things when they're with you and it's kind of like they'll look at how you treat them and they'll kind of think oh maybe you don't like me anymore maybe this maybe that maybe that and they basically just let their mind like you know wander so i feel like yeah they're a huge thinker and they're kind of worried about like what you think about them how you see them and the future of this relationship as well you know because yeah they're afraid you guys just like you know might end up breaking up or something or they're afraid that um yeah things will settle down and maybe you'll find out actually you don't like them as much maybe they're afraid they aren't even good enough for you or something um but yeah something about them not treating you right or them feeling like they aren't treating you right as well and um yeah i just feel like you know they're right that like something's broken even though like it's not even broken you know so it's like they're right about something but it's kind of like there's nothing to worry about so yeah, I feel like they're just like, you know, being very nitpicky as well. So maybe if you've noticed your partner, your crush being a bit more, I don't know, um, just like a bit more attentive or being a bit more like present. I feel like it's because of like the anxiety that they feel as well, definitely. Um, okay, then we also got the four of cups that came up, right? So again, very interesting because this talks about, you know, not being interested. So if you guys aren't dating, I just feel like, you know, that's going to be a completely separate thing where it's like if you guys actually are just strangers, if you don't know them that well, if this is like just like your first time or whatever, I feel like um, they just might not be interested in getting to a serious relationship right now, okay? I feel like they're kind of still, you know, trying to just, you know, just like, you know, go on the road, see what's happening. They're trying to be like, okay, like, you know, we're just seeing what's happening. And I feel like maybe they've been leading you on a bit or something but yeah i feel like they aren't as you know sure of themselves as they've been basically perceiving to be um basically but if you guys are dating i feel like they're afraid that um you might lose interest or they might lose interest in you basically so yeah i feel like this talks about kind of spicing things up a, a bit as well but yeah if you guys don't know each other i just get the vibe where it's kind of like they might be leading you on or i feel like they're just afraid about like you know losing interest as well or something um and they haven't told you that as well and it's kind of like they're taking you for the ride where it's like they'll pretend like they're into you but then it's kind of like maybe they actually aren't you know so yeah but definitely they get very anxious when they think about you 1000 percent and then we've got the four pentacles so literally synchronous we've got four 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 so guys it's a sign you know practical energy it talks about earth signs virgo capricorn Taurus. and a Taurus it talks about um yeah, like stability and everything so i just feel like you know this talks about establishing a new relationship so i just feel like they're saying they feel a lot of anxiety when it comes to you and yeah they don't really feel at ease sometimes when it comes to this relationship so i see them really keeping to themselves and kind of you know being a bit a bit more withdrawn and everything so um yeah that's the secret that they're maybe leading you on if you guys aren't dating and if you guys are dating they're afraid of maybe losing interest so maybe um because they're feeling this way about you they're like you know trying to distance themselves from you because this does happen a lot you know where it's kind of like if you feel oh my word literally i feel like it's really dark is it fine guys how is the lighting let me know is the lighting too dark like comment down below guys is the lighting too dark anyways so you know sometimes when you're going through a really tough time you do tend to usually just withdraw yourself from people that you love and people you care about and i feel like maybe they're having doubts about this relationship or they're kind of going through something and it's kind of like because of that they're not really being as open with you basically so um yeah i think some advice would kind of just be to like i don't know talk to them i feel like it's talking about like you taking the lead and kind of being like listen like literally even your channel message i will get into that now but yeah i feel like you know they want you to take the lead they want you to kind of just set the standard and kind of like you know just set them straight um calm them down and reassure them basically and then we also got the hangman card so this talks about stagnation it talks yeah stagnation and everything not anything happening so um 
I feel like they might not be hiding a secret from you. It's just about like, you know, leading someone on or um, acting like you're more invasive than you actually are. Um, oh yeah, feeling like you're afraid of like losing the spark as well. And definitely an amazing movie to watch. It's also Soul, like it's such a good movie. I'll link it down below, the trailer. But yeah, it's like a really good movie. Anyways, your channeled message says, I've only been in one serious relationship. I don't really know what I'm doing and I'm just following your lead. I don't want to rush you or to go too fast. No pressure. So they don't want to feel a lot of pressure. I feel like they're feeling very like under stress right now. And because they feel like they're under so much pressure, they're again, um, withdrawing themselves from you basically. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm busy getting. They're following your lead. Um, so yeah, I feel like if you are the dominant in this relationship, you know, keep doing you. Um, and yeah, hopefully I can hear from you guys soon. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. What is up, pile number five? Let's get straight into your reading. So your overall is just going to be the four of wands. And then yeah, we've got your cards you guys chose. We've got your channel message. And then we also got your cards over here as well. So as for the message that I heard for you, um, it was really interesting because I heard them talking about like moving so this person definitely might be moving away from you or you guys might be long distance but i like even saw them like you know packing their bags and like leaving to go somewhere or go out or something like remember your moss be safe and everything y'all um but yeah so i just got the energy where it's kind of like them saying they feel very out of place they kind of feel like um they don't always understand you as well like literally i could even see them watching tarot videos about you literally guys um your crush might be stalking you and that could be the secret as well bro for real yeah i feel like your crush is busy stalking you i feel like that you know like if you post something online they'll watch it like a bunch of times or like if you text them they'll like be asking their friends what they say but um i'm seeing yeah them stalking you them asking about you um and them kind of feeling like they don't always understand you as well. And them trying to get also advice on you. So another secret is that they ask people for advice about you, definitely. Because I see them asking maybe your friends about you or their friends about you. Um, or maybe like if you send them a picture, like they'll send your pictures to their friends or something. I'm seeing that as well, definitely. Or like um, if you text them, I can see them sending screenshots of your chats to like other people as well. So that's another thing but mostly about them feeling very confused by you and your actions you know maybe they feel like you're playing mind games with them or i just feel like you know they feel very kind of like they don't know how you feel about them and i feel like it's making them kind of like a bit uneasy or they might even be kind of feeling like maybe they are afraid that you're talking about them behind their back or something you know like bro that's the worst feeling when it's kind of like you feel like someone's talking about you but like they're probably not but it's kind of like you're overthinking and it's like oh hate that feeling but um yeah, I just get the vibe where it's kind of like they're worried that maybe you're talking about them behind their back or they're worried that your friends are talking about you behind their back or something or they're worried that your family doesn't like them but they're worried about a lot of like public opinion and like everything. I'm getting that vibe a lot so I feel like the secret isn't so much about you but it's more about how they feel towards you and everything. Um, but yeah, a lot of anxiety, a lot of kind of feeling isolated as well. Literally, your, your card is too lonely so they kind of feel a bit alone right now. They feel like... Um, they're trying to figure you out, but they don't know how to, or even know, they don't even know where to start. And I remember, like, I saw this one caption somewhere, and they said, like, um, I think it said, what did it say? It was like, don't try to study me because you won't graduate. Bro, that's such an Aries thing to say, an Aries, Capricorn, and Gemini thing to say, literally. Your person could be any of those three placements, but, um yeah let's get straight into it so we've got the relatable characters card okay so this does talk about kind of um meeting people and not really liking them or not really um understanding them and everything so i kind of feel like um there's this vibe where it's kind of like they feel very out of place when they hang out with you sometimes you know maybe um they could feel like you know maybe you're too small for them but they feel like sometimes when you say certain things they don't always understand what you're talking about you know um it could just be because you guys are very different from each other maybe you guys study different things and it's kind of like maybe you're like a psych major and then they're kind of like you know doing law or maybe it's kind of like a thing where it's like you know you're busy working they're busy studying or vice versa or like they're older than you and it's kind of like that type of vibe as well there's like there's like a bit of like a disconnect between you and your person and I just see them, you know, kind of getting a bit worried about that. Maybe they're worried about the age gap. They're worried about the wealth gap. They're worried about something having to do with your family. Even like it could be racial, racial things or something like that. But um, yeah, them feeling very disconnected from you. And I feel like even they don't like hanging out with your family sometimes. Like I can see them saying that like, oh yeah, like I don't like your family or something. Or they feel like they don't like hanging out with your friends. Or they're worried, like I said, about your friends gossiping about them. 
um yeah i feel like they're right about what you say behind closed doors and they try to keep tabs on you when they can as well definitely and then we also got the rising aries leo sag definitely bro for real i feel like this is like your placement i feel like you're like an aries rising or a leo or a sag or something definitely like super unproblematic and everything just doing your own thing and it's kind of like yeah um but yeah i feel like maybe because, you know, this talks about being very standoffish. Or not standoffish. I feel like it talks about intimidation. So this person definitely feels very intimidated by you. And they keep that a secret from you as well, definitely. Um, they just feel like, you know, you're such like, you know, a cool person. Very attractive and everything. And it makes them kind of feel like they need to step up the game. Or they feel kind of like, I don't know. They just feel some type of way about it as well. Maybe it's kind of like they don't like what you wear sometimes. Like they feel like it's too revealing or something, which is no wear what you want to wear baby girl okay any gender whichever gender okay we got the seven of pentacles that came up right this talks about waiting so again i'm seeing them kind of um waiting for your response i see them stalking you i see them um keeping tabs on you i see them kind of also just i don't know waiting for your reply and kind of waiting for things to just you know um be in their favor basically you know because i feel like sometimes maybe um when they spend too much time with your friends and your family members i can see them feeling uncomfortable and kind of being like okay well then next time you hang out with me and my friends we're gonna have inside jokes or something you know like i see them trying to get even with you or something you know so maybe your crush is mad at you or something and i just see them trying to get like i don't want to say revenge but trying to like you know get even so um yeah it's kind of like they're seeing this as like basically a competition it's kind of like since when is dating a competition guys but yeah i feel like they kind of feel like they're like competing with you as well definitely like you know if you look good they're saying oh more that means i have to dress up as well basically you know so yeah they feel a bit threatened by you but they feel a bit intimidated okay and then we got the judgment card okay this talks about um being vulnerable being open and kind of like laying everything like on the table as well so there's also a vibe where it's kind of like i can see you maybe confronting them and saying like listen hey um what's going on why are you acting like this like i don't like the side of you basically you know because i can see them kind of showing more of like i don't want to say the ugly side but low-key the ugly side you know like this side that's more maybe um self-centered manipulative or just a bit more um controlling even and i feel like i can see you saying listen that's not cool like i don't like that like don't do that around me okay and i can see them kind of being like okay fine like i won't do it around you but then it's kind of like even if they're not doing it around you they're doing it in secret you know so um i feel like if you told them to stop doing something they're still doing it they're just not doing it to your face you know maybe they told you they stopped smoking or something i feel like they're doing it behind your back or something you know what i mean or like if you told them to stop playing um um like games when they're at work i can see them still doing it but like a game behind your back or something because you told them not to do it as well and then we got the page of wands so this talks about a student in a juice i really do feel like they might be a bit envious of your success or something or just feeling really alienated by you and what you want to talk about and your interest in everything so they feel like yeah it's hard to find kind of find you know common ground and common interests and stuff like that basically um and sorry for saying basically so much <laughs> oh my god okay but yeah anyways um but yeah student energy I'm just getting a vibe where it's like you guys still have maybe a lot to learn about each other as well. And I feel like they're just saying like, yeah, they feel like they don't always know how, how to talk to you or what to talk about with you. Um, and they feel like sometimes it's actually hard to come up with conversation topics sometimes even when it comes to you. Like, damn, bro. Okay. And then we also got the King of Pentacles. This talks about being alone. It talks about making your money, being stable, you know, emperor energy and everything. So there is a vibe where it's kind of like they aren't really worried but i feel like at the same time they're wondering should they be worried you know if you hang up with like you know maybe people that like you could be potentially romantic with they're worried that like you know you might end up with them or they're worried when you go out like is something bad gonna happen to you or they're worried about that type of vibe as well because they feel super threatened by like people in your life and even by you um so yeah and let's get into your channel miss i'm actually scared of some of my friends i don't really like them but i want to fit in with them sometimes i wonder how long is this year going to take because it's going so slow and then in bracket it says waiting for something big and i was getting about ways like they're waiting for something big they're waiting for things to be on their side you know they're waiting for their um 
strike of luck or something and then it says aries leo sag and literally we got aries leo sag guys i promise you i did not read this guys for real like that is so much like synchronicities and everything but even this reminds me of like this tv show called you me her like i'll link it down below but basically um there was this girl and this guy right and she was dating this guy but this guy was i guess you could see generally seen as being very unattractive and um she was seen to be you know very attractive and everything young beautiful gorgeous and everything and then it's kind of like the tables were turned and people were hitting on him the entire time and she kind of felt like like okay well then what am i doing like what what am i doing here like you know and she just kind of felt like wow that this sucks being on the receiving end basically and i can kind of feel like they're they're kind of seeing you basically succeeding and they're kind of like oh damn like this is lonely man like this sucks like is this like is this how you feel sometimes well i can just see them kind of being like they don't like being on the receiving end basically um so yeah that's what i got for part number five i really hope the video resonated i love you loads and let's get into the next one what is a part number six? Let's get straight into your readings. So we got your herbal energy being the three of pentacles. We got your channel Miss Javier, and then we also got your cards as well. So guys, definitely part six. This might be a huge, um, like a really big. Um, <laughs> I feel like I'm already sounding so sexual, but like I was gonna say anyways. This is gonna be very probably really sexual, like X-rated or whatever. But yeah. So I heard them say something like, "I can't stop thinking about you." Like and nobody does it like you do um but i feel like their secret definitely is about their hidden feelings for you but yeah i'm just gonna vibe with kind of like they really like you a lot but something about them feeling very uncomfortable with their feelings so um like i'm even seeing them crushing on you but like maybe like you're dating their best friend or something or um i don't know but for some reason it feels like they feel very uncomfortable liking you so um yeah, maybe they're kind of thinking that like you put them in a bit of an un uncomfortable situation or they put themselves in an uncomfortable situation but either way something about them saying like bro like this is so unfair like i don't know how i'm gonna do this or um yeah but i feel like they definitely just might be hiding their feelings or their boners but um yeah guys let's see so um what are secrets from your crush we've got the diy heart guys this talks about kind of um doing something by yourself i just get the vibe where it's kind of like they're definitely trying to hide their feelings for you and i feel like you know when they hang out with you like definitely they kind of change their um, mannerisms or they kind of change their speech sometimes so maybe they so they talk a certain type of way when they're like alone but like when they're with you like they say they have they have a different vocabulary or like they just like be different you know what i mean like yeah for real like i remember like someone i i used to know did this where it's like when they were with me they act a certain way but like when they're with friends they act a different completely different way so i definitely feel like they change their mannerisms around you they change their speech they change how they dress even maybe but like i can just see them kind of being a vibe where it's kind of like if they're with their friends and you're with them and their friends they'll try to kind of maybe be more pc or something or they'll try to maybe just i don't know like just like cover some things up basically but i was getting that vibe as well um sorry about that i was just moving my candle but yeah so definitely they change their mannerisms and they change how they speak and everything and then we also got the ferrari card so you know maybe they lied about having a car but actually they don't have a car maybe they lied about having a lot of money but they don't have as much money as they said or like maybe they said that they have an iphone but they actually have an android but something about them trying to show off basically in front of you um but yeah i definitely feel like you know your crush might be someone that's very attractive but yeah, I just see them kind of attracting a lot of suitors. Um, yeah, I'm seeing them getting a lot of attention from people, basically. Maybe texting people and stuff like that. But I just see them kind of like living their best life for, for real. Um, because, you know, people that are in like these fancy cars driving around, it's kind of like, bro, like they have no like worry in the world. They're just chilling, you know, literally. So I just see kind of like people um watching your person and kind of like liking them and having crushes on them so maybe they've told you like oh yeah like you know nobody likes you but it's kind of like they know people like them you know so i kind of see them low-key maybe downplaying themselves a bit maybe just like pretending that they're more like i don't want to say common but pretend pretending that they're more common than they actually are you know or pretending that they're more kind of confused than they actually are so you know sometimes it used to be a thing where you'd act like dumb to get attention from a guy i can see them maybe acting a bit like that or acting helpless to get your attention or acting a bit like they're out of the loop acting that they don't understand just to get your attention as well you know so maybe they try to find excuses to talk to you definitely real for real um 
I just see them kind of like, yeah, trying to find excuses to talk to you. I can see them like, yeah, trying to stop you and be like, hey, asking you random questions and everything. And like having wandering eyes, you know, looking at you, um, being into and everything. Um, but yeah, definitely. I feel like this person is trying to definitely, you know, um, try to get your number. They're trying to, you know, see what's popping, see what's going down. Okay. So we got the, and you guys got the most cards, the three pile six. So yeah, we got the eight. I mean, we got the eight of wands that came up, right? So this talks about being very overwhelmed. Talks about anxiety. It talks about um, just yeah, being caught off guard as well. So I kind of feel like you know, um, they were very caught off guard by maybe their feelings for you, or they just felt very caught off guard by you in general because maybe it's kind of like they struggle anticipating what you're gonna say or sometimes it's kind of like they don't always know like yeah what you're gonna say what you're gonna do and it's kind of like they like that they don't know what's gonna happen next between you guys and i feel like they feel very turned on by you but at the same time they're kind of still a bit like they don't maybe want to tell their friends about you or maybe they don't want to tell their friends that they like you um just because they're a bit like shy or something but i see them again like trying to be like oh yeah like yeah trying to keep their things away from me but like not in a shy way maybe maybe like shy is the wrong word more in like a I don't know, they kind of low key seem like a player, even guys. Pile number six, they definitely could be a player, but I feel like they definitely find it very, very, very sexually attractive and whatnot. Um, and I just feel like, you know, maybe they're kind of saying that, like, but they definitely are keeping secrets from me, and I feel like they know that they can't move forward with you until they're, like, you know, honest with you, basically. So I can see they maybe wanted to clear the air. Because maybe there's like a lot of sexual tension or just like, you know, a little, a lot of just like unanswered questions when it comes to them. And I can see them, you know, wanting to come to you and just basically clear the air, say what's going on because it's kind of like a lot of chitter chatter. But like, yeah, I feel like there just needs to be a bit of more confrontation in this connection. And then we got the 10 of wands that came up, right? So again, feeling like very overwhelmed, feeling like it's a lot of tasks and feeling like, yeah i just feel like they feel like a lot of stress on on themselves right now and definitely if they're keeping anything from you it's kind of like it's weighing on them a lot and they know they have to basically address it so i feel like they're not keeping any secrets from you as of right now i feel like they might in the future though um definitely in the future they're going to start keeping secrets from me i feel like once you start dating them they're going to be very secretive but like right now they're not keeping anything from you um and even if they are keeping anything from me, I feel like they're going to definitely, um, uh, like, talk to you about it as well. So I feel like if you ever told them, like, hey, um, are you keeping this from me? Or, like, what's this? I can see them, you know, being honest and telling you, like, what's on their mind, you know? Because I just see them, you know, being very open and honest with you. But at the same time, um, withholding some of, like, their charms when it comes to you. Because I just feel like, you know, they definitely might be someone that's, like, you know, a huge player. Or it's kind of like they're really used to, you know, just dating and stuff like that in general. So I can just see them acting a bit more inexperienced on purpose to get your attention. Definitely, guys, for real. Like, they're trying to definitely, you know do like the oldest trick in the book they're trying to you know get your attention and stuff like that but like in a very old-fashioned type of way which is like mega cute though for real like it's cute i mean if you're into that okay if you're into that yeah <laughs> okay guys like we'll get into your channel message but guys literally keep that in mind if you are into that type of vibe okay and they also got the ace of pentacles so um i feel like they're also keeping a secret um like how much money they make because i just see them kind of feeling like they need to maybe down themselves down or they feel like they need to just you know i don't know like they feel like they need to just be less of a person to maybe like you know get with you or they're afraid to kind of you know reveal too much but too soon as well so i just feel like you know they're trying to you know kind of come at the situation definitely like a crab you know like sideways very subtle and everything um definitely could be a cancer even they could be um a leo or libra or a fire sign definitely um Aries, Leo, Sag, 1000%. And also with the DIY heart, you know, Taurus energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There could be any zodiac sign literally though. But like maybe Venus in fire sign and then moon in earth sign. And then like this sun sign is like a fire sign or like an air sign or something. Or like they're arising or like a cusp or something like that. But yeah, anyways, um, yeah, I see them kind of um, not telling you how much money they make, being a bit secretive. But like I feel like it's not because they're trying to hide anything from me. I think it's just because that's like they're just trying to do it like that you know they're trying to be like a bit more subtle a bit more you know not being really head on type vibe because bro you give them freaking you give them hard-ons guys for real okay 
And then we got the 501 stocks about disagreements and everything. So I just feel like, you know, they're worried that if they tell you something, you won't agree with them. You know, maybe they have different beliefs to you. And I can see them kind of being like, okay, if I bring up this one thing, it's going to just cause a disagreement for no reason. So let me just rather keep it to myself. So I also do feel like maybe they're keeping something from you, but just because they feel like it's for your benefit as well, you know, because they don't want to start a fight or an argument. And they don't want to, like, you know, just cause, like, a fight for no reason as well. They're saying, like, why should we fight about something when we can, when we can just be having sex? You know what I mean? Like, literally. So, um, there is a vibe as well, definitely. But they're doing it. They're saying they're doing it for your benefit, for your benefit. Because, yeah... And then we got the death card. Interesting. So this talks about leaving things behind again. I really do see them kind of like um, not doing this in the future. Or like I feel like they're, I don't see them like, I, don't, I just don't feel like they're hiding anything from me right now. But I feel like in the future, they're going to start doing it though. You know, in the future, they're going to start becoming a bit more like secretive or whatever. Um, that's going to be a whole separate reading, guys, on like your next relationship and everything. Let me know if you guys want that video. But as of right now, I really don't see them hiding anything from you. Um... I just feel like they're saying that they want to move forward with you, but they know that they need to address certain things and that they know that they haven't told you everything, but they're saying it's not a secret, you know, they're saying like, you know, if you ask me something, I'll tell you straight up. Um, but just because I haven't told you doesn't mean like I'm keeping it from you and stuff like that. So yeah, I feel like they won't try to lie to you right now, but like they might try to keep secrets from you but like only in the future and then we also got the four of ones and this talks about having a successful relationship it talks about 11 11 wishful thinking um and things working out in your favor basically so i just see them trying to do something sweet for you trying to do something nice for you so they might be trying to plan something nice for you guys and i know the cards seem really hectic guys for real but i'm really not getting anything bad like i just see them kind of feeling very like um like feeling very stressed out of work sometimes and not really telling you that type of vibe and stuff like that you know like not telling you things that will upset you not telling you things that will cause a fight and stuff like that you know with the five of ones and everything i'm trying to avoid all that with the death card you know so i'm seeing avoidance and it's kind of like you know people say sometimes it's not lying it's just not telling the entire truth you know what i mean or something like um white lies keep um relationships going i don't know something like that and everything but yeah, let's get into your channel message. So it says, I've been having a lot of crazy sex dreams about you and don't know how you would feel if you found out how I felt or what I want to do to you. I don't want to make you feel uncomfortable. Yeah, guys, definitely I was getting that. Literally, where it's like they don't want to make you feel uncomfortable. They don't want to make you just feel like a certain type of way, basically, or make you angry, make you sad or something. So they just keep things to themselves, basically. But I feel like they're going to definitely talk to you about it in the future. Like, you know, if it comes up, they're saying, you know, if it comes up, I'll tell you. But, like, I'm not going to just tell you because, like, why? Like, it doesn't make any sense. So, yeah, but, you know, in the future, we'll see, like, you know, more of their character and everything. And, like, I'm really excited. But, yeah, that's what I've got for you reading, guys. I really hope it resonated. I love you loads. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.